Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Charlie and I are here to talk about the movies and TV shows that I watched recently. I don't know how many of them I have. We're just going to go through them. I do have some notes because trying to keep it all straight is a little crazy. Um, I'm actually going to be going in alphabetical order. So starting us off, All of Us Are Dead on Netflix. TV show, 12 episodes available. Watched this with my salty chicken girlies and we had so much fun watching this as part of like a Patreon watch along situation. I have my Patreon linked down below. There's a lot of stuff happening over there that I don't get to share with you guys but one of the things that I have loved including for my patrons are movie watches and when I say like movie nights it could be like a tv show it could be a movie it could be an episode we could binge an entire show which is what we did for all of us are dead so my salty chicken gang oh love them so much um I usually only do like the first episode to see like kind of gauge interest and then I kind of binge the rest of the show by myself if I'm really interested but my patrons were like can we binge the whole season together so I was like yes we can So if you don't know, this is a Korean drama and it's about a virus that gets spread that turns people into zombies. So it's a zombie show. And we follow a group of high school teenagers trapped at their high school as this outbreak happens and they're just trying to survive and trying to get to safety. Like I said, it's 12 episodes. We binged it all. It was great. I watched every single episode with my patrons and it was just so much fun. Now we did listen to it dubbed. They do have it available in like English with subtitles or in Korean with English the subtitles but we went the dubbed it does have the option available I didn't think it did but I checked and it does so there's that um there is going to be a season two in 2023 and I think that's what I have to say about that one I thought it was a fun interesting time a show to watch with other people um I don't know if I would have been able to binge it as fast like just by myself so I'm glad I had my salty chicken gang all right next up is choose or die and this is like a new release this month I have dealt with like some really bad insomnia there were nights that I was up until like two three four five in the morning and this is one of those nights um Um, so choose or die is basically like about this video game like a kind of old style video game like on the computer where it gives you like the red door or the blue door and you have to choose or die literally and it starts with this guy he's sitting in his computer and he's like drinking a beer and they're like um are you done for the night or do you want another one he's like oh, I have another one and then like one appears on his desk like out of nowhere And then it kind of cuts to these like younger teens, I guess, and just it's basically choose or die and none of like A and B is both bad. One doesn't sound bad, but then once you choose that one, it is bad and like things happen. I do not suggest watching it at night, um, but it was just really like kitschy and really like throwback. It kind of reminded me of Rabbits by Terry Miles in a way because they're both video games and you're both like following the clues in different ways, but I don't know. I overall enjoyed it and it will stick in my mind because I both watched and read the book in the same month. Um, again, that's Choose or Die and that's available on Netflix and it's a movie, so it's a one and done sort of situation. I am filming this video that you're watching a little bit early, but tonight with my Patreons, it is April 22nd, so we are going to be watching the first episode of Heartstopper. Yay! I thought we were gonna have to wait till summer. I'm so glad that it released this spring, but I'm probably going to binge the entire eight episodes because it's only eight episodes and I'm just so excited for this story. But tonight, me and my patrons are gonna be watching episode one together. Um, it's based off of the 
um, graphic novel series, web comic series by Ellis Osman. It's about two boys that fall in love and things happen and I'm just really excited about it. All right, so the next one I wanna talk to you about is Inventing Anna. I don't remember how many episodes they were, but I binged this so fast. My dad actually told me to watch it and then I watched it and it's also the month that I just happened to have picked um, my Friend Anna by Rachel Deloach Williams up off of Pango Books. And this is the same kind of story told from a different perspective. In the book, I haven't read this yet. I just got it this month. But in the book, you have the Vanity Fair photo editor, Rachel, a new friend to Anna Delvey um, that goes on this like trip with her and she kind of tells her side of the story. In the show, Inventing Anna, it's basically about this fake heiress um, that takes New York by storm and in the show it follows a reporter that's kind of breaking the story. Anna has been, um, she's in jail, she's awaiting trial, and she's trying to get the story about is she really who she says she is? Um, there's a whole bunch of money involved because she starts getting people to invest in this like business idea of hers and all of these crazy things happen and it's based off of true events. So like it is just wild. And I really did like the acting in this one. And if you're looking for a, um, true documentary movie style TV show. I would definitely check it out. I can't wait to compare like the book and the show. I'm um, just like for myself, you know, whatever. But yeah, I really liked that one. Like I said, I like binged it over like a weekend, a really busy weekend too. All right, next up, level 16. This was another late night insomnia movie watch. Uh, I think this just released. Uh, it's basically about this dystopian school where these young girls are living like a boarding school housing situation and they move up levels and it's called level 16 because at the start of the movie they a group of girls is moving from the 15th level to the 16th level. So I'm guessing they turned, it was like their birthday and they all moved up to the 16th floor. And they're kind of being trained at the school. They're taking medicine. They're not allowed to go outside. They have to wear these like almost like uniform type things. And you follow a couple of the girls as they're trying to figure out like, why are they in this situation? Red flags are going off for them. And yeah, it's a movie, so it's another one and done situation. And for a late night movie binge, it was perfect. So liked that one. Um, I finished Only Murders in the Building, which is a show on Hulu. Um, I was about like five or six episodes in in the last video that I did like this. And now I have completed it and I love it so much. Just the trio, they're like three strangers that live in the same apartment building and they're all obsessed with the same true crime podcast. And then there ends up being a murder in their building and they're all instantly intrigued. They all kind of like meet up because the building like shuts down or something like that and they kind of meet up and they start their own true crime podcast and they're trying to solve this murder that happened in their building and it has Martin Short and Steve Martin and Selena Gomez and I just love it so much and it is coming back for a season two very soon very soon hold on I wrote it down June June of this year season two comes out and I am pumped so yeah that's that one highly recommend if you like cozy mysteries if you liked the maid definitely watch that one all right next up we are only on season one but my husband and I finished another show that I'm going to talk about later and we always have to have like one show kind of going at night as we're eating dinner or whatever because we eat out in the living room watch tv whatever and right now we're watching Ozark and I think season four or season five is releasing at the end of April and um we're only on season one um and the first episode I was watching it I was like I don't know if this is going to be my thing a lot of things happen in there that just are not my thing um but I pushed through 
and I'm obsessed with it now. I'm like, can we watch another episode? Can we watch another episode? So we're only like, I think we're gonna watch the last episode of the first season and then go into season two. But yeah, I'm really liking it so far. It's basically about this family that has to like up and move to the Ozarks. So Marty and his family moved to the Ozarks. He's working for this like Mexican cartel drug lord. He's like a money launderer type thing. And yeah, he's got to do it or his whole family is going to be taken out. So that's very interesting, but it's very adult. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, okay, next up, Silk Road. This is on Hulu. It's a movie. It's based on the book American Kingpin um, by Nick Bilton. I read that book in January, I believe. Absolutely loved it. And I watched the movie and the movie is really good too. But it doesn't go into detail about him building his website, the Silk Road. It's more about like the actual manhunt to catch him. That's what the movie focuses on. And I almost liked in the book, the part where he was setting it up and stuff like that a little bit more than the like actual manhunt part so I would say if you like the book you should watch the movie and if you've watched the movie you definitely need to read the book but anyway yeah watched that really enjoyed um and then I am currently watching Survivor season 42 I'm absolutely loving it I'm a huge Survivor fan I have been watching since season two I have gone back of course and watched season one but I have seen all of the survivors I love them all I really like this season I have my favorites but before I reveal mine I want you guys to let me know if you're survivor fans if you watch and if you're watching this season and who your favorite is in the comment section down below um all right next up is the chestnut man and this was another patreon watch we watched the first episode together and then i stayed up after that was over and binged the entire um all of the episodes how many episodes um, there were six episodes, so I watched all six episodes in one night. When I first started watching, I actually started watching this without my patrons, like before we had it as a movie night, and I was like, man, this is kind of slow, and I don't know if this is going to be my thing, but then we did it as a Patreon thing, and I watched it again, and I was like, okay, it's kind of slow, it's kind of boring, but then it like picked up, and then after that first episode, I just like absolutely had to binge all of the episodes in the night. That was a very late night, but this this follows this serial killer that is going around killing people and he's leaving he or she is leaving behind a chestnut man that's like the signature thing so they're trying to figure out who it is so you're following kind of like the police and detectives and like forensic people and all of that trying to figure out like who the killer is what it all means how the um, victims are connected and all of this very very interesting I have not read the book but I have watched the show um, and it's very cool. All right, next up, um, this is actually gonna go off of Netflix soon, but it's the Clove Hitch Killer, another late night insomnia watch. Um, and I think this is leaving like at May. So by the time you're watching this, this is probably over. But um, it's actually inspired by the BT, BTK Strangler. Um, if you know anything about that. Um, so the son finds disturbing images in his father's like possessions and it just kind of like rabbit holes from there. He ends up teaming up with someone else telling them about the images and they're trying to find out like is his father this clove hitch killer. So definite adult themes, topics, images. Yeah okay <laughs> um then let's see what's next the dropout and this is ambition and fame gone horribly wrong this follows elizabeth who drops out of college she starts promising like customers and investors um like things that she shouldn't have she has thought up this technology that you can test your blood with only one drop of blood and she does this for a couple of different reasons i think like her mom and like her and like i don't know and she is a very smart person she had that very like I want to be the youngest female billionaire. I want to be the female Steve Jobs sort of thing. And very, very interesting. 
wild, sad, crazy, mind blowing, and yeah. All right, next up, my husband and I finished The Last Kingdom, season five. I'm sad it's over. I fell in love with these characters. This is the show that we stopped or we finished and now that we're watching Ozark. But The Kingdom, man, I would say it's not typically like, I don't know, like a feminine, you know, like movie or whatever. It's kind of fan, it kind of feels like a fantasy, but it's really like where the Danes and the Saxons are fighting for like land and power and all of that. And just the acting and everything and the cast is like my favorite and I'm really sad that it's over. I'm happy for the actors. They did their thing. They went out with a bang. A lot of people were disappointed and they were trying to like figure out what happened in like the last season, the last few episodes. It was very clear to me what happened. I liked how it ended. Do I want more? Of course, because it was freaking amazing. But you could already tell in the last season they did have to change out a couple of the key actors. And they did a really good job like swapping people out. And the new people did good in their roles. But like I missed the old people, you know? But like the main people and like, oh my gosh, so much sad stuff happens. But like if you like movies like Game of Thrones, I don't know shows like that I think you would really like this um but it's very popular on Netflix so if you've been at all intrigued I'm sure you've at least tried it out but it just gets better and better and better and like also at the same time like worse and worse and worse for the characters and the story and the plot and all of that you know so good um okay and we binged that the whole thing all five seasons like since February I think or something like that like we just started it this year um okay then I watched Turning Red the new Disney Pixar um movie that everybody's talking about it's about a 13 year old girl that's kind of like torn between being like the obedient you know daughter and kind of just like the chaos of being a teenager and just like being boy crazy and wanting to do things with your friends but also having like responsibilities at home and stuff like that but the funny part of this movie is is that she turns into this big red panda like literally and it's like what the heck so i really liked it it was fun it was nostalgic it was I don't know it was just really fun and really wholesome and I recommend it all right two more white hot it has a longer name like the controversy of Amber Crombie and Fitch or something like that I'm obsessed with these like I don't know like fashion label documentaries like the behind the scenes of them I watched the Von Dutch one um like last month or the month before and now I'm watching this Amber Carby and Fitch one I've never owned anything from Amber Carby and Fitch number one it was always like too expensive when I was like younger and then as I got older I couldn't fit into those clothes and it wasn't like really my style um I probably would have been wearing it to be like the cool kid you know but it just really talks about like the brand and like what it stood for and how crappy it used to be I don't know how it is now but they talked about like how it kind of rebranded there was a new like CEO person in charge and um it's interesting the things that they're bringing and they're advertising but yet the look of the store is still the same. So I don't know how much it has actually changed. Um, but if you're interested, check it out. Cause it was, it was interesting. And then the last movie that I watched is wild. Um, the one based on the book by Cheryl Strayed Wild um, about her hiking the PCT. And I am kind of obsessed and um just like hiking in general I mean I've always kind of liked being outdoors I've always like I love the beach I love the mountains I like camping I like hiking um but now I'm like I need a back 
backpack. I need new hiking boots. I need to read all of the hiking books. <laughs> so yes, I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, and I know there are some like diehard hikers out there, some like real God to honest through hikers that like don't really like wild and can't really stand up behind wild because of the accuracy or the non-accuracy of it. I'm not here to debate that. I'm just saying anything that can motivate someone to get outside in nature and like want to go on a hike or inspire you to do something like that, motivate you to do something like that is a good thing in my book. So I read the book last month, watched the movie this month, and I'm literally obsessed. I've started going on walks, um, longer walks, like three and four mile walks. I did in fact order a new backpack and I'm in the process of getting hiking boots. So you may or may not see me doing some hikes. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, those are the movies and TV shows I watched. Again, shout out to my Salty Chicken Gang. And yeah, let me know what you've been watching lately and if you have any recommendations for me to check out. But that's all for today's video. And I'll see you guys again in another one soon. Bye.